My name is Ophelia and this is my little enterprise. I call it Ophelia's Kitchen. You see the sign? Looks great, doesn't it? It should, since I drove the sign maker crazy about it for weeks. I'm surprised he didn't have himself committed after talking to me. But look at it. Out there for everyone to see my name. You see, I'm a caterer. I do engagements, weddings, funerals, dinner parties, church picnics, small conferences, you name it, I can cater it. In fact, I just did a wedding two weeks ago in Canada. Once I delivered the food, they asked me to stay. It was a good party and some great food, if I do say so myself, and I do. And I met some interesting people there, too. You know, Jesus, the master, he was there, and I got to meet him. I got to meet him. We had so much fun there that he came back to my kitchen. We drank coffee, we talked. He even had some of my Gucci. He said it reminded him of his mom's cooking. Oh, wait, <laughs> I got tired of his mom's cooking. I'm not so sure that's a compliment anymore. <laughs> anyway, that's another story. Speaking of the master, I have a note from him here somewhere. Oh, yeah, yeah, here it is. He wants me to prepare a late night Passover supper for 13. Thing is, though, he said he didn't need it for about a year or so from now. Talk about planning. I wish all my clients were as organized as he was. He did, however, make it really clear that that was not a dinner to be missed. <laughs> to be a fly on the wall at that dinner, I can hear everything they're saying. <clears throat> oh, no, no, it is just an expression, don't get me wrong. I run a tight kitchen. I am always ready. See? I would die of embarrassment if anyone suggested there were flies in my kitchen. I guess that's why I'm always so busy up at the crack of dawn cleaning. Oops. Cleaning, mixing, cooking. Breaking. And I'm here late at night putting everything away. It's not so work, but I love it. Oh, excuse me, I have my phone on silent. I almost missed it. Hello, Ophelia's Kitchen. How may I help you today? Oh, Peter, dear, how are you? Oh, yes, that's great. And how's the master? Turning water into wine, I suppose. Yes, yes, he's always very busy. Oh, you want me to cater for you? Sure, give me just a moment. Let me write it. What? Urgent? Today? The master wants me to feed a hungry crowd. Well, I certainly know all about hungry crowds. You should see my family at feeding time. Like, try to feed a pack of wild animals. Talk about crowds. Oh, Peter, you're such a tease. Five thousand people, indeed. Oh, stop joking around. No, really. I need to know how many people you want me to cater for and when you want me to deliver the meal. <laughs> you can't be serious, Peter. Five thousand people? Peter, I'm a little kitchen. I'm not Walmart. <laughs> Look, you don't have the kind of money to pay for a job that big. I don't have the equipment, and let's not even get started on the ingredients. <sighs> yes, I'm old. The nerve of this man. 5,000 people? It's not even Betty Crocker of the room could do that. Oh, uh, yes, yes, I'm here. 
Three fish and five loaves, huh? Well, that's not enough to feed my family. We're only four. I mean, even if I made a soup. Well, thank the young man very nicely, but I just don't think it'll do. <sighs> yes, I will hold. <laughs> Wait until you hear this. The master wants me to feed 5,000 people on a hill in the middle of nowhere with a handful of fish and loaves. Do I look like a magician? No. But if I could pull it off, I would make the cover of the Galilee Times. I'd be named Caterer of the Year. <sighs> I wish. Yes, yes. What? Peter, what's going on? I can't hear you. What? Thank you. 